Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of Planescape Torment with myself, Waze, a band of uh, not so merry adventurers. We have the nameless one, Mort, Anna, Dacon, and Fall from Grace. We are only five. We lost Ignis and we lost, well, we, we swapped Ignis for Vela. I think Ignis is gone and Vela, well, he turned rogue on us and tried to kill the nameless one because the nameless one was silly enough to talk about uh, talk to the Pillar of Skulls about his past, which triggered Vela to try killing him. We are back in Sigil after being in Carcerai, and uh, yeah, a few things we want to do. At the end of the last episode, I said I was going to look at these items here. There's this Lady of Pain Ragdoll, the Codex of the Inconceivable, and the Modern Cubes. Let's have a look at these. Codex of the Inconceivable. It would first taken to be a rather unassuming book held closed by a tiny brass lock is, in actuality, bound in strange leathers and enchanted bronze. It is labelled simply the Codex of the Inconceivable. Let's use this, see what happens. Okay. What you'd, uh, open it and read it. Okay, let's do that. Okay, just gain 1,000 experience. You unlock the book's bindings and open it. As you glance over the tome's, tome's contents, your jaw drops. You stand spellbound, flipping through its pages. Its contents are simply too much to be described. Mere words seem powerless to explain the wonder it holds. That was... that I... What? What? What was in it, Chief? Um, I don't know what to say, Mort. Uh, I'll show him the Codex, actually. I'll just show it to him. Mort floats over your shoulder to examine the codex contents. His eyes nearly pop from their sockets as they scan the pages. Ooh, ooh, oh, I, but wow. Okay. You stand thoughtfully for a moment, looking down at the codex before closing it and reverently putting the tome away. Okay. I gained some experience. I'm not sure what else happened. Uh, I'm not sure if anything happened on any of my stats. Nope. No, nothing at all. Let's try opening it again. See, reverently put the book away. Okay, not sure if that's going to be relevant later on or not. Okay, what about this modern cube? This small metal toy is a replica of a cube-like mechanical creature with huge eyes on one of its faces. The toy has two legs, two arms, two folding wings, and at least 18 points of articulation. Maybe it's a collector's item. The intricacy of this toy is incredible. Its joints are composed of tiny gears, cogs, pulleys, and swivel joints, and there are even tiny springs on the legs that help support the feet. There's a little switch on the back that moves the eyes back and forth, and the wings are made of some tissue-like metal that folds up neatly when the wings are flush with the body. Despite the toy's awkward shape, it rests easily on any surface, no matter how uneven. Okay, let's try using this. This, uh, okay. Put the cube away or move the arms and make sword fighting noises. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> the toy clicks and whirs as you move its clockwork joints. Within moments, the tiny cube has vanquished every imaginary opponent you have sent against it and settled back to its normal position. Okay, wave its arms and make cheering noises. Hordes of imaginary creatures from across the plains cheer the cube's victory. You can almost see a tiny oily tear brimming on one of its eyes. It is a hero. The greatest cube ever to roam the plains and everyone loves it. In your mind, fall from grace and Anna, hug it and shower it with kisses. <laughs> Sigh and put the cube away for future battles against the multiverse. Mort stares at you and shakes his head. What's that, cube hero? Mort's a stupid scot. No, why is... Why, yes, he is, isn't he, cube hero? I'm not, I'm not going to do that again. I, I'm, I'm going to... I'm trying to roleplay this character. Is that sort of thing? Would he mock Mort like that? Uh, for no apparent reason. No, I'm just going to put the cube away. Okay. Okay. Now, next. The Lady of Pain Ragdoll. The years have been kind to this tiny ragdoll. It is coming apart at the seams, and it looks like its threads are unraveling. It is obviously intended to be a replica of the Lady of Pain, but the button eyes and its plush softness don't strike much fear into your heart. Okay, let's talk to it. Okay. Oh, you're just a cute little lady of pain, aren't you? <laughs> uh, do we want to ask the lady of pain for aid? Do we? Do we? Joke, oh great lady of pain, goddess of Sigil, hear my plea for aid and help me in your hour of need. Or truth, 
saying the same thing. Let's try it. Stranger things have been happening since I have awoken. So, truth, O great lady of pain, goddess of Sigil, hear my plea for aid and help me in my hour of need. As you're about to say the words, you suddenly feel a strange crawling sensation in the back of your skull. With it comes a premonition that saying these words will place you in terrible danger. Even feeling as feeling as you do could prove dangerous. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. No. I think like is more of a good character is is invoking the lady of pain let's say put the doll away for now if we are desperate at some point maybe we'll try that again all right so that takes care of those items i'm going to uh i need to sort out this uh, inventory a little bit grace is okay mort's okay dacon is okay what's this uh cerebral parasite plus three to intelligence plus one to wisdom immunity to panic Okay, hang on to that Dacon, just in case there is something we fight that has those. Anna, you have these. Frost Mint Candy, we're not sure what this does. Let's hang on to it. Give it to Grace to hang on to. She's hanging on to all the other stuff that we're not sure about. Uh, Anna, Dirty Rat Charm, Cranium Rat Charm, Free Blind Charm, and... Stick the Merc in there for now just to make space. And the Gordian Knot. Plus two to Charisma, minus one to Wisdom. Usable only by fighters. Maybe. I have enough Wisdom to use that maybe at some point. Ravel's Grey Hair. Again, not sure what that does. I feel like I should hang on to that. Thilden's All. Well-fashioned all with the name Thilden. Burnt expertly into the wood handle. Let's give that to Grace to look after. Dianara's legacy I'm going to hang on to. Charcoal charm is resistance to fire. Let's give that to Mort. Just in case. And beer goggles. Minus one to damage, plus ten to base hit points. Immunity to panic intoxicates wearer. Only use, usable only by modrons. Whatever a modron is. Let's give that to Grace to look after as well. Um... Six Circle of Zerthamon. I've already got that. Copy spell. Already in the characters. Can I give it to uh, Dacon? Okay, Dacon has the spell now as well. Right, okay. Unbroken Circle of Zerthamon. Use. Okay. Six. Show more. I've read all of these. Let's reread the Seventh Circle. Know that the rising of the people against the Illithid was a thing built upon many turnings. Many were the people who lived and died under the Time's Blade while the rising was shaped. Continue reading. The rising was shaped upon a slow foundation. Steel was gathered so it might mark Illithid flesh. A means of knowing the movements of the Illithids was established. At first weak and confused, then stronger, like a child finding its voice. When the movements were known and the Illithids were observed, in observing them, their ways of the mind were known. When the ways of the Illithid were known, many of the people were gathered and taught in secret the means to shield their minds and the way to harness their will as weapons. They were taught the scriptures of steel and most importantly they were given the knowing of freedom. Uh, stop reading, examine the circle again. Uh, examine the plate, see if you can puzzle out any new combinations. Oh, okay, we have more. As you examine the rings of the seven circles of Zerthavon, you suddenly become aware of a pattern in the way the links are formed. You hook your fingers into the sides of the circle, unlock it, unlock a hidden segment, pull in the plate forth so you can study it. Okay, let's read these. <clears throat> know that a mind divided divides the man. The will and the hand must be as one. In knowing the self, one becomes strong. Know that if you know a course of action to be true in your heart, do not betray it because the path leads to hardship. Hardship. Know that without suffering, the rising would never have been, and the people would never have come to know themselves. Know that there is nothing in all the worlds that can stand against unity, when all know a single purpose, when all hands are guided by one will, and all act with the same intent, the planes themselves may be moved. Yeah, I think that's the whole thing about planes shifting into different alignments as well, figures into that, doesn't it? 
A divided mind is one that does not know itself. When it is divided, it cleaves the body in two. When one has a single purpose, the body is strengthened. In knowing the self grows strong. Okay. Read the eighth circle of Zerthamon. Okay. Stop reading and examine the circle again. Okay, this is different. This small round stone is the unbroken circle of Zerthamon, made up series of interlocking circles that follow. Oh no, that's just the same. Uh, Reread the eighth. Slide the plates closed and seal the circle, and let's talk to Dakon. What is your will? Dakon turns to you, his eyes like polished coal. His blade mirrors his eyes for a moment as you address him, then he nods, What is your will? Things I would know, Dakon. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. Questions about the Gitsurai. Ask about your travels. I'll talk to you about your teachings. Wish to give up my current profession? No, I don't. I've read the Unbroken Circle of Zerthamon. I want to speak to you more about the way of Zerthamon. What did you come to know? Okay, Dakon, there was an eighth circle within the Stone of Zerthamon. It spoke of division of the mind and the importance of focus. Dakon falls silent. When he speaks again, his tone is quiet, almost reverent. What does this eighth circle speak of? Okay, it speaks of focus and discipline about how not knowing oneself can physically divide the man. It also speaks of the weakness that division causes. It seems to me that it tells one to not only know themselves and take strength from that, but that your focus can reveal weaknesses in your enemy. Dakon is silent for a moment. Will you make this circle known to me? Uh, take the unbroken circle of Earth one and unlock the eighth circle. 10,000 experience, 10,000 experience. Okay, gained an item. As you take the circle and twist the links, two more plates slide from the interior and into your hands. As with the seventh circle, you have no idea where they came from, but the unbroken circle still seems intact. The eighth circle remains. Dakon watches you silently. Okay, Dakon, there are two plates here. We should both study them, you and I. I think when you know the eighth circle, perhaps then you will know Zerthamon's heart when he made the pronouncement of two skies. His words were not those of the Illithids, but of the people. Dakon stares at the plates, his eyes flickering over the ge geometries upon them, then looks up and matches your gaze. His blade bends, shifts, until the shimmering you noticed before has become a silver glow. He seems stronger somehow. Oh, plus one strength, plus two dexterity, plus two constitution. Is that me or Dakon? I hope it's Dakon, actually. I'll check that in a minute. Uh, so Dakon, know that when death comes for you, know that I shall meet its blade with mine. Know that when all dies around you, know I shall live for your sake. Okay. When we die, Dakon, it shall be the same death. It shall be the pronouncement of two deaths as one. Wow. Very I'll bound. My journal. Okay. Journal. I think my discovery of the Eighth Circle brought Dakon to a greater understanding of himself and removed the doubt that had afflicted him. I literally watched him shed the coat of years when I told him of the Eighth Circle. And here are my words, Dakon made the pronouncement of two deaths as one, where he swore that when death came for me, he would meet its blade with his. Wow. Wow. Endure. Dakon. In enduring, grow strong. 19 strength. Dex up to 18. Con up to 18. 97 hit points. You might be a bit tankier now. <laughs> he might actually. Oh, this is good. Dakon has become much stronger. And we helped him. Okay. Very, 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 very good. What have I got in my imagery? This eighth. Uh, that's the seventh circle. Okay. Missile of Patience. I already have it. Let's give that to Dakon. Uh, character spellbook is filled to the maximum with, this, with spells of this level. All right, we'll have a look at that later. What is it? What level is it? It uh, doesn't say here. Or here. My spellbook. Okay, it's not level one. Oh, hang on, Dakon's got another spell here. Greater Embalming. Uh, preserves the flesh of the dead. 
Okay, as such, this spell can preserve the flesh of the Nameless One, mending tears, offset and decay, and making your skin more resilient to damage. The spell is more potent version of minor embalming, and the mending and damage resistance is longer. Okay. Uh, target gains plus two HP per level of the caster. Uh, plus two AC for one hour. The extra hit points behave exactly like an aid spell. They will heal the caster if he's less than max hit points. Or they were given bonus hit points for an hour. I like the sound of that one. Let's take that. We'll need to sleep. Okay. What's this? Remove curse. Damn. Three slots here, but no spells on level five. Need to get Dak on some spells from somewhere. Hang on, if I ever look at mine, I can find out what level that is. Where is the patient spell? It's not any of these. It's balancing all things, isn't it? Is it? Is it this one? In which case, that's level three. I think it's... Cloud kill. <clears throat> I think I need to take a cloud kill spell. Yeah, let's remove that and take this. I know that sort of weakens me right now, but... Uh, okay. That's the Acid Storm, Death Bolt, and Meteor. I don't have any level 8 yet. Anyway, okay. Back to uh, the inventory. The 8th circle. Let's give one to Dacon. And let's copy spell. Okay. Zethermans Focus. Right, this is a level... Uh, what level spell is this? Duration, five seconds per level. Speed, three area effect, one creature. Wait, one. Inscribed on this circular stone plate is the eighth circle of Zethmon. Know that mine must be divided. Okay, this is just everything that we read before. What is it? Let's copy the spell. Let's go and have a look at it. None of those. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, Zerthamon's Focus. 50 feet, 5 seconds per level. Helps the target remember Zerthamon's teachings on the way to channel one's mental and physical focus during battle. When cast, the recipient's chances for a critical attack are raised for 5 seconds per level of the caster. Okay. And cast the recipient's chances for a critical attack are raised for five seconds. Okay. This is a good spell, I think, for Dacon. Um, the support spell. Let's take out one of those and put that in. And let's go to Dacon and do the same with him. Copy spell. Damn. What? Uh, it's a level three spell. Back on, what have you got? Three of these. Let's get rid of one of those. And take that, I think. Okay. Good. Let's sort those out. Interesting. Always worth talking to, to Dacon. Now, is there anything else I can do with this uh, circle of Zerthamon? Let's use it again. Uh, let's examine the plates, see if you can puzzle out any new combinations. Examine the circle again. Okay. No, it doesn't look like there's any more there. Is that it? Reread the eighth circle. Continue reading. Examine the circle again. Puzzle that any new combinations. No new circle reveal themselves. Okay, let's leave it for now. That's that. Now, what we wanted to do was to go and buy some stuff. So let's go to the apothecary. Your will be done. Not just you, Dakon. All of us. Don't be antisocial. We'll go together. Right. Let's uh, talk to Pestle. I want to buy something. Now, is there anything we can sell first? Something tells me no. At the moment, it's like everything we have, we want to hang on to. Just in case. Although some of these I don't think we're ever going to be able to use. But this is the, the gamer hoarder in me. Okay. Nothing there to sell. So let's have a look. Let, more, let's uh, get you. We have 15,000 coins. So let's 
Actually, the heart charm is 27. Blood charm is 18. Okay, so... How many of these can we get? Guy, five of those. Okay. Blood charms are just nine. Plus resistance, which is useful. Um, how many did we get you more? I think I got five, didn't I? Let's get you another five as well. I think. By those. Dacon, let's get you ten of these. I think just want to make sure we have enough healing. We have the cash. Anna, same for you. Let's get you ten of those. That's my three fighters. And it wouldn't hurt for Grace to have a few on hand. And the nameless one as well. Let's get that. Now, do we have anything as well? I want to see, is there anything that does... Not that. Uh, cockroach charm. Plus armor class. That's what I was, actually, I was looking for. Okay, more... How much are these, actually? Let's get a couple of those. There's 600 each, so, yeah. They're expensive enough now. This one here. Same again. Okay. And suddenly, money is... Uh... Can we only buy one? Double click not working. Oh, actually. Oh, it's for Dacon. One. Is there another one? No, it looks like we bought all of those. Okay. Nameless one. Do you have any? Did I buy the extra ones for the nameless one? And all from Grace? I did. It's like those in there. Mort, you have 11 of those. Dacon with 10. Anna with 10. And Fourth of Grace with 5. Okay. That's a bit of healing done. I'm gone. Well, not a bit of healing, uh, a bit of uh, some gear to use. Right. Where to now? We did want to go back and, and investigate under Sigil, so we're going to do that, I think, now. And see... See how we fare. We struggled last time. So let's uh, head down again. Right, Anna. Hi. Do your... Well. You're detecting. Let's have a look. Where did we, we did all of this. There's this whole area up here, possibly, to up the top to check out. What's up? Sure, More why not? back Anna up, and the rest of you just follow in behind. Huh? Might as well. Okay, let's check these out. Although, I, something tells me we will have already done all of these. Okay. So, yeah, we've been down there. So let's go this way. Yeah. More. Good st is done. Stay close I'm enough gone. to Anna. Huh? Okay. Ready. Might as well. Okay, we have some a couple of things down here. Anna, are you detecting traps? You are. Okay, another heart charm. Commons and a pouch. What about this one? Okay, we have an enemy. More. What? Good get is done. Get over here. Anna. I'm here Might as well. Grab that and then get back here. Are they going to come out or not? All right. Hi, what? Right. Anna and Dakon. I hear your will be done. What's up, chief? Sure, Let's why go not? this way. What you be want? Right. I will hear you. Balance your path. Don't just mine. hear me, Dakon. Move. Right. Once the good is done. 
Mort. Okay, that's uh, Litany of Curses. She has the personality of a patch of razor vine and twice as okay. Ugly. Let's wait. Hi. Why not? Okay. Hmm? Attack. What's up? And you as well, Mort. Come on. Nice. Okay, we have another one. Yeah. More. Litany of Curses again. Dumb. You two wait in here. Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, right, we have more. Nameless one. Let's uh, try a ball lightning on you. It is I. Dak on. You also do a ball lightning on this one. More. Take care of him. Dak on. Let's get a Bill Quas eye. Okay, that's a, a debuff. I was looking for a buff. Submerge the will, I think. Better AC. On Mort. Ready. Anna, just attack. Nice. Nameless one. What else have you got? Uh, I'm not sure if this spell is going to work quick enough. What's the casting time? Doesn't. Duration 10 seconds. Let's try a black sphere. Around about here. Okay. I hear your words. Dacon. Did you cut a ball lightning? On this one. Okay, bit of damage, not a lot. More. Litany of curses. No, not dialogue. This is no time for talking, even though you like to talk. Litany of curses on you. What a perfectly good waste of arms and legs. Save us a spell. Okay. I'm here. Anna What's the word, and Chief? Mort. I will hear you. Dak on you get in there as well. How's health? Everyone's health is good. Okay. What's going on there? Two people snoozing. Is that more? What's up? Currently fed by submerged the world, okay. Don't see anything else going on there. Right. You three. Uh -huh. What? Injured, badly injured, attack this one. Finish him off. Nice. Injured, uninjured. This one here. Okay, and this one. Okay. Nice. Nice. That was uh, nicely done. Uh, Anna. You be wanting to know. You've taken a bit right. of damage, so we'll need to heal you up. Silver earring. I'm thinking now we do want to collect a few things because... Uh... Okay, Hi. everyone Hi. get Hi. over Hi. here out of the way so so Anna mm -hmm. can Why loot. Cranium rat charm. Oh, what's this? Scroll of friends. Stiletto. That's not going to be worth anything. Neither is a battle axe. Okay, everybody. Anna, give Ready. that scroll to the nameless one for now. Scroll of... Oh, hang on. Celestial Host. While the previous proxies and beings of the Celestial Plains are seen as embodiment of kindness, compassion and benevolence, there might easily rivals those of Beator of, or the Abyss. Woe to those who underestimate the power of the Upper Plains. When cast, a group of powerful phantasms are called to help eradicate all enemies in a 50 by 50 square foot area, as their combined attacks inflict 40 to 120 hit points of damage with no saving throw. Phantasms represent some of the most powerful celestial beings from the upper planes. Astral Diva with a Mace of Disruption, Phoenix with Firestorm, Solar Asimon with Celestial Bow, and a Gold Dragon Energy Wave. Okay, we will copy that spell. Probably can't use it. Yeah, <laughs> level 9. Yes, we won't be using that anytime soon. Probably should have hung on to it and just used it as a scroll. I just realized if we don't level up. Oh, well. Right. Yes. Grace. Uh, 
let's just cure Anna for now. I think that is required. We'll use up the small spells. Okay, and a cure moderate. And another one. So I want to hang on to the the charms because they're quicker to use in battle. Right, what have we got? Hi. Anna. Detecting traps again. Are we going to go this way or are we going to go up? Let's go Hi. this way. Did we finish searching these? I don't think we did. Green steel dagger. Yeah, that's not going to be worth much, to be honest. I wouldn't have thought. Uh, let's take it for now. We can always drop it later if... Uh... Nothing else of note. Okay. So we searched all of these. We will go up here. And see what else we have. Okay, more Trelons. Right, more. Yeah, good as done. Uh -huh. You're the what? barrier. What? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Taunt them out. Okay, there's only one, so I'm not going to use any big spells for now. More. Letney of curses. Use that mouth of yours. Anna and Dakon, wait in a... How may I help? Oh, damn. I? I Anna there. Your Dakon there. I'm Orphan well. Grace and Go. Nameless One there. She has the personality right, of more. Up, Chief. Wait, now attack. Hmm? Anna. Ready. And Dakon. You should be able to finish just one between the three of you. Nice. Okay. What Your have we got? Will be done. There's another one. Okay. I hear you. I shall serve. Back on Nana. Go to the back. Mort. What's the word, Chief? The word is lots of words from your mouth. Flies wouldn't even rest on your carcass. Okay. Good. Hi, what? Okay. This is going much better. Silver ring. What's the other one? I will, your will be done. Be right. What's up? More. Good what's in that? Just a stiletto. Is that it? Is that all we got? Is it just one or two? It's hard to tell. They're all in together. Yeah. Right, Good more. Done. Go and have a look. Go and have a look. Minimal damage. We're definitely more powerful than the last time we came here. You two, right. back him up. Huh? Sure, why not? I probably should be sending Anna first. To check the traps. Okay. Hmm? Right. And you two as well. I'm gone. Okay. This is better. Let's go up here to the right, I think. Ready. What? Sure, why not? More you first, actually actually. I'm Anna. Here. Hi, what? Detect traps. Okay, seem clear enough. We have a few things down here. Discipline is impressive, Dakon. Okay. In the eyes of Zerthamon, I am nothing. Always so humble, Dakon. Surely you're being too harsh on yourself. A long road must I still travel. This is but the beginning. Okay. Right, you two. Anna, what have you got here? Crimson Sphere Earring. Okay, everyone over here. Well, Anna, what you be want to know? I want right. you to detect traps, as always. A magnifying lens. Nothing in here. What about this one? Blood charm, always nice. Some copper commons, which we want for healing items. Detect traps again, and a whispering flask. Okay, back to the group. Share out the loot. Uh, give that to Forth and Grace so she can identify it. Okay, resistance to fire. I think Anna already has. 
That's open locks. This is stealth. So yeah, I think Grace, I'd say you can probably keep these yourself. Uh, Anna, what else? Whispering flask plus two to strength. Used by only by gifts array. Okay. Back on. Let's uh, put that in there for you. Uh, blood charm. That's a heart charm. Okay, that can go in there. Uh, let's give it to... Let's give it to Mort. I think. And this magnifying lens. Minus 10 to law skill, minus 2 to damage. And minus 2 to missile weapons, used by only by moderns. Okay. Again, not much use. What was the other thing that was only usable by moderns? I thought I had something else. No. no but, um, the modern is. Okay, I'm going to bring all these over here. I'm not sure I need these charms of infinite recalls anymore. Grace seems to be able to identify everything. Cockroach charm. <clears throat> like that in there. Where's Mort's cockroach charms? Let's put those in there as well. I need to remember to use those. Dacon. Okay, let's just get. Beer goggles, that's the other thing that was only usable by moderns. Okay, interesting. Not sure what that those are all about. I'm sure we will find out at some point. Okay, we have more exploring right. to do. But I think we will do that in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you're well. And until next time, take care.